my name is yam narasimha rao lecturer in physics now i am explaining hc verma textbook exercise problem number 16 volume 2 electric field and the potential three equal charges 2 into 10 power minus 6 coulomb are held fixed at the three corners of equilateral triangle of a side 5 cm find the coulomb force experienced by one of the charges due to the rest of two a b c is an equilateral triangle all sides are equal all angles are equal in this problem each side length is given as 5 cm 5 cm here each angle is 60 degrees they told at all these three vertices at all these three vertices they kept equal charges each of magnitude 2 into 10 power minus 6 coulomb all are positive charges only i am taking here the charge is q here charge is q here charge is q all the three charges are equal charge at a is equal to charge at b is equal to charge at c is equal to q its a magnitude is 2 into 10 power minus 6 coulomb or distance between the charges 5 cm 5 into 10 power minus 2 meter given now please listen at the point a there is a positive charge at the point c there is a positive charge q it is positive charge it is positive charge in between these two positive charges there exists a electrostatic force of repulsion this positive charge is applying electrostatic force of repulsion on this charge in this direction it is applying repulsive force it is applying repulsive force along ac direction now this is the charge at b and it is the charge at q charge at c both are equal in magnitude now this is positive it is positive there exists a repulsive force this charge is applying repulsive force it is applying repulsive force on this charge the charge q which is present at c on this charge there are two forces are acting one force is applied by charge at a another force is applied by charge at b this this person is applying repulsion it is applying repulsion at this place two forces are acting i am finding those two electrostatic force between a and c electrostatic force on c due to a is equals to k into q1 q2 by k q1 q2 by r square f c a force on c due to a that is equals to k into charge at a charge at a is q charge at c is q both are equal in magnitude charge at a q charge at c q by r square r square distance of separation is r now this force it is applying a repulsion along ac direction along along ac direction now fca is equals to k into q into q q square by r square along ac direction now this charge is applying the repulsive force on this charge it is applying repulsive force on this charge force on c force acting on c due to the charge at b is equals to k q b q c by r square 
electrostatic force coulomb coulomb sala i am applying coulomb sala in electrostatics force on c due to b is equal to k into this charge and this charge both are equal in magnitude qb means q qc means q by r r is the distance between these two r square fcb is equal to kq square by r square this is applying repulsion along bc direction along bc direction now please listen force between these two charges force between these two charges both are equal in magnitude kq square by r square kq square by r square this repulsive force this repulsive force both are equal in magnitude force force on c due to a is equal to force on c due to b is equal to f both are equal in magnitude at the point c charge q is present on this charge two forces are acting one force is along ac direction another one is along bc direction both the forces are equal in magnitude angle between these two forces is 60 degrees this angle is 60 this angle also 60 degree now i am at this place two forces are acting i am finding the resultant force at the point c resultant force magnitude of resultant force magnitude of resultant force magnitude of resultant force at c now please listen we are having one formula resultant force formula is equal to magnitude of magnitude of resultant force that is equals to f1 square plus f2 square f c b square f f c a square f c a square f c b square i am applying parallelogram law of vectors for f c b square to f c a f c b cos theta now magnitude of a resultant force is equals to this force and this force both are equal in magnitude that is equals to f fca fca means f fcb fcb means f to fca fca means f fcb fcb means f cos theta theta is the angle between the two forces nothing but 60 degrees 60 degrees result magnitude of the resultant force at the point c is equals to f square plus f square 2 f square plus 2 f into f f square cos 60 1 by 2 2 to gets cancelled resultant force at the point c is equal to 2 f square plus f square 3f square resultant force at c is equal to root 3 square root cancel f that is equal to root 3 into f f is nothing but f is nothing but f is nothing but fca fca means kq square by r square kq square by r square f f means what fca fca means what kq square by r square that is equals to root to 3. K, K value in electrostatics 9 into 10 power 9. 9 into 10 power 9. Q means charge. Charge at, at this place, at this place, at this place. Charge is same. That's the magnitude is 2 into 10 power minus 6. Q means 2 into 10 power minus 6. Square, I am writing square by R. R means 5 centimeter. 5 into 10 power minus 2. 5 into 10 power minus 2 meter whole square. 
Now, if you um, solve this one, if you solve this one, we are getting 24.9 Newton. At this place, uh, at the point C, on this charge, 24.9 Newton force is acting. I am finding the direction of the resultant force. At the point C, one force is acting in this direction. Another force is acting in this direction. This charge is experiencing two forces. Angle between the two forces is 60 degree. Now at the point C, two forces are acting in this direction. The resultant is in this direction. I am finding the direction of the resultant. This resultant is making an angle alpha. With the first force, that is FCA. Now I am finding the angle bit, angle made by the resultant force with the first force FCA. I am applying the parallelogram law vectors to find the direction. Now in parallelogram law vectors, direction of the resultant is equals to direction of resultant force. Direction of a resultant force tan alpha is equals to Q sin theta by P plus Q cos theta. This is the formula. Now tan alpha is equals to tan alpha is equal to Q. Q means second one. Second force FCB. FCB is equal to F. Yeah, Q means FCB, FCB is equal to F sin theta, theta is the angle between the two forces, this is this angle, nothing but 60 degrees, theta means 60 degrees, by P, P means the first force, FCA, FCA means F, FCA means F, Q, Q means second force, that is equal to FCB, FCB is equal to F. FCB Q means F cos theta. Theta means angle between two forces. Nothing but 60 degrees. Theta means 60 degree. Tan alpha is equals to F sin 60 root 3 by 2. F plus F cos 60 1 by 2. Root 3 F by 2 root 3 f by 2 f plus f by 2 3 f by 2 2 2 gets cancelled f f gets cancelled tan alpha is equals to root root 3 3 can be written as root 3 into root 3 3 can be written as root 3 into root 3 root 3 root 3 cancel 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 means tan 30 degrees now, tan alpha is equal to tan 30. Alpha is equal to 30 degrees. This is the direction of resultant with the force FCA. With the force FCA. Thank you.